The purpose of this video is to talk about mutations. Now, one of the things we were talking about this chapter is the idea that DNA is replicated. So DNA has to be copied in order to make a new version for the new cell when the cell is going through mitosis. The problem is sometimes there are problems when the DNA is copied. Sometimes it doesn't work correctly and you end up with mutations that can be passed on to the offspring. One of the things we'll talk about near the end of the chapter are some genetic mutations that are common in the population and what some of those look like. But there are generally four major categories for mutations. The first one's pretty straightforward, um, but just uh, before we, I guess, get to that, I just want to talk to you about the, the base chromosome here. It shows there's different sections on the chromosome. Those different sections are coding for different genes. So uh, you can see this is what it's supposed to look like. In the case of a deletion, the B is now left out on this side. Uh, that means that section of the DNA was not copied for whatever reason. Um, unfortunately, there are you know there's some mistakes that DNA polymerase can recognize and fix. This is not one of them. So when uh, this kind of mistake happens, that can very well be passed on to the offspring. The interesting thing though is we have some genes that either aren't commonly used or aren't used at all. So sometimes this causes problems, other times it doesn't. Uh, the next one is sort of like the opposite of a deletion. Again, we have the same normal chromosome. But in this case, instead of getting no Bs, we actually end up getting two Bs. So the, the two of them is called a duplication. You now have a section of DNA that was copied twice. Um, even though this doesn't seem like a big deal, actually having more DNA can be a problem in some cases even more so than having too little. Uh, for example, trisomy 21 is the common name for Down syndrome and that's just having an extra chromosome 21. So that individual actually has more genetic material than a normal person, but that causes problems. Uh, the next example is an inversion. I like this picture because it kind of gives you an idea of, of what could possibly happen to the chromosome to cause this. Instead of going through our normal progression, you can see that the C and the B and the E and the D were switched. So this is when like the chromosome kind of gets folded over itself and some of the DNA then gets moved to a new part of the chromosome. The final one, and uh, this is kind of rare, it actually involves two different chromosomes, is translocation. So this is almost similar to a crossing over, if you remember that one from the processes we were talking about when we were going through meiosis. But um, in this case, you actually have two chromosomes that end up passing DNA back and forth between the two of them. So if you think about this one normally going A, B, C, D, E, F, now the D, E, F gets switched with the J, K, L up on this side. So the back portion of this normal chromosome, so the D, E, F part over here, now ends up on the back portion of the bottom chromosome. The J, K, L portion ends up you know, on this one. A mutation like that would generally be very severe, and that would cause problems in the individual. A lot of times, if there is a severe mutation like this, individuals like that generally don't develop. Uh, they won't be healthy. So in like the case of people, uh, that could lead to like a miscarriage or something like that if there is a very serious mutation going on when the DNA is being copied. Um, some more benign things, like possibly a deletion of a section of DNA that isn't really used, that could be okay. Um, so the interesting thing with mutations is sometimes they're causing dramatic problems for the cell. Other times, it's really no big deal. Uh, the way we're going to practice some of this in class is actually using sentences to represent you know, the section of the DNA, and we'll transcribe it into RNA, and then we'll show the kind of problems that can happen when there is, say, a deletion or a duplication, and how that can affect the kinds of proteins that are made from that section of DNA. Uh, but for now, it's good enough just to know the four major categories. We'll work in more detail with some of those sentence, sentence examples um, in class starting tomorrow. So I, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Make sure you answer the questions when the videos are over, and I'll see you in class. Thank you.